Good morning, and it's May the 29th, 2021, and we welcome you, Chase Bounty. Hey, I'm in the garage. Let's get things going. by the funk band Rubicon uh, back from the 70s, about late 70s, 78, 79, they're from the San Francisco area. They were only active for a short time, but three of their members ended up getting fame. Actually, four of their members ended up uh, getting famous in other bands. We'll talk about them later in our funk segment, but with, right now, let's go ahead and promote some sponsors. We've got... Pink Panther Series, this is the last time we're going to promote it for this uh, month. It's going to be the trail of the Pink Panther right here. One dollar, seven day rental, part of the five pack series of the Pink Panther Series. Great uh, five pack right here for four dollars. Two week rental, all that good stuff. That raise video. Also, hi Mark, when you going to take a shit and you want the best for your tush, give it right here with hi Mark. All right. And also, finally, Dead Horse Cologne. When you want to smell like a dead horse, now you can. Dead Horse Cologne. All right, well, let's go ahead and get to my bounty. Since it's outside, let's have some music. Hold on one sec. Let's go see my bounty. Oh, yeah, let's see my cans. So here we go. I haven't separated them yet or got them out of their bag, but the Rockstar Sugar Free, uh, Kirkland Purified Water, Dr. Pepper, uh, Propel. There's some San Pellegrino. Let's go back to the show. show what I found today in a little excursion. It's an eight-man strong uh, chip, I guess. Right there, if you guys know what eight-man is, I guess it's like a... Is it bodybuilding, or is it just bodybuilding wear? Like, uh, you know, not uniforms, but uh, like, not spandex, but just like t-shirts and uh, shorts and stuff. You let me know in the comments what all else eight-man does. And also it says, endure this night. So... Kind of cool, I guess. Eight man is strong right there. Well, let's get into some news. Uh, officials approve use, use of Measure C for the Highway 41 widening. This is uh, from Elkhorn to Excelsior Avenue in Fresno County. And uh, final approval will be on June 9th. And it'll be a $63 million project. Wow. A uh, driver crashes into pole in northwest Fresno, knocking out pole, uh, knocking out pole obviously but he knocked out the power and he also uh, started a fire but they were able to get that contained uh, this happened at 2 a.m. in Bullard and west of Marks uh, Acura SUV uh, hit the pole and like I said caught the grass on fire and then the driver tried running away uh, but was caught no one was hurt um, Unclear if drugs or alcohol played a part, but I'm just guessing that it did because he ran away. But, well, who knows? Fresno State, uh, Fresno State is about to sell some corn. That's right. Corn. And it's about to do it May 31st. And you better get your spot ready because it will sell out just like every year it sells out. Hundreds of jobs are opening at Amazon Fulfillment Center. That's in Fresno, California. Uh... 
total of 5,000 employees or more work there. Most of it is robotics, but there is uh, hundreds of, uh, you know, uh, employees needed for the fulfillment center. I couldn't think for a second. Um, anyway, you can go to our ABC 30 sister station news and look up at their site if you want to go ahead and see which positions are available. All right, well, let's go ahead right now and get into some trivia. That's right. Let's see if I can do some trivia real quick here. Um, a crime took... No, I think I already did that. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why that looks familiar. Hmm. Okay. Um, on Saturday, a crime was committed at a local church. Six marriages were to do before, uh, before throughout the day, and police are trying to track down the order. However, the details of brides and grooms have inadvertently been mixed up in the planner. Although each name is in the correct column, only one name and each column is correctly positioned. The following positions, the following facts are certain about the correct order. Yates is two places below Goliath. So Yates is two places below Goliath. Okay. And what else? Colin is one place below ID. So Colin. Fred is three places below Nina. Nina. That could be Fred. Uh, let's see. Who's above Underwood? Okay. Who is two places? James is one place above Pauline. And is two places above Doug. One place above. Two places above Doug. So right there. Um, you know what? Fuck this. It's too hard. <laughs> um, here we go. And Count Casula. Count Casula, the world's greatest money magician, was about to form his grand finale. He had already performed many amazing monetary feats, including turning blank paper into currency, bending a quarter with his bare hands, and convincing a concession clerk to give him change for a hundred. Now he would prove that no one in the audience would know how to count money. Count Casula gave each audience member a pen, paper, and the following instruction. Quickly write down this number, 12,000, 1,200, and $22. When he held their answers on Kaiju, it seemed amazing all had written down the number wrong. Why? Because it was $12,222. What does that look like? Well, that actually turns into $121,022. <laughs> so let's go to the page 175 and see what the deal was. 175 and why everybody could not count this is true, maybe I'll start doing this. Um, Count Casula. $12,222,000 is $13,222, okay? That's why it wouldn't work, because I'm a fucking retard. Because $12,222 equals $13,222, I think. I don't know. I went to Kingsburg High. Anyway, let's go ahead right now and go to the funk segment of our show today is Funky Friday. The band that you heard in the opening of uh, the scenes uh, today was Rubicon. It's a California funk band from San Francisco. And that song that you heard was I'm Gonna Take Care of Everything. Uh, it went to number 28 in the Billboard charts and was on the Billboard charts for 11 weeks. And the highest it got eight was, the highest it peaked was number 28. Like I said, this happened in 1978. The band was active in 1978, 1970, 90, 1979, not 1970, 90. Uh, when one of the members, Jerry Martini, was actually a former member of Sly and the Family Stone, and other members were Greg 
uh, Euclid for vocals and drums, Brad Gillis, guitar, uh, Max Haskett, lead vocals and horns, Dennis Marielano, sax and vocals, Jim Puh, uh, he did the keyboards, Jack Blades, the bass, and Johnny Cola, guitar. Uh, their only, L well, actually, their first LP, uh, their only single was, um, I'm Gonna Take Care of Everything, and uh, that album, like I said, was released in 1979, okay? Self-titled album. And then that same year, just a few months later, they released their second album called America in Dreams, and then they disbanded. All right, but uh, Kiki Gillis and Blades wanted to form the popular rock band Night Ranger, while Cola ended up becoming a, a founding member of Huey Lewis and the News, so it's crazy. Rubicon would end up reforming in the early 90s and become a prog band with a different lineup, okay? Um, so there you have it. If you liked what you heard, if you want to hear more from uh, Rubicon, you can check them out on any uh, media music platform, uh, Spotify, uh, YouTube, and all that good stuff. All right. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it for us today on Jake's Bounty. I want to say uh, thank you for tuning in. I also want to let you know uh, we have High Mike, High Mike, no, High Mark toilet paper right here. Uh, it's great for your ass. Uh, really soft and sensitive. It listens to all my problems. Why won't you go out with me, bitch? No, um, I want to know uh, if your ass really needs great protection, get High Mark toilet paper right here. Jake's Bounty. Uh, they're only a dollar. And, uh, you know, your ass will thank you later, okay? Also, pick up the Pink Panther series here at Ray's Video. It's just $4 for the five pack series. Get it for two week rental. Good stuff. Dead Horse Cologne. Go get it right now because you want to smell like a dead horse. All right. And Monday's show, we're going to be having it happen this day back in whatever day it will be. Maybe I think it will be my, uh, May 31st. So it happened this day back in music. Also, we have my news, the bouncing, so much more. So come back and uh, uh, you guys have a good weekend. You guys be good to yourselves and be good to each other. All right, see you guys on Monday. Here's some more Rubicon with uh, I'll Take Care of Everything. Filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2021. You can follow us on Facebook, his channel, his website, and ring that bell, leave a like, leave a comment, and as always, please subscribe.